Goth Esthetician Tip. This is a really quick fix if you want to get a nice, smooth application of your foundation or if you're just looking to improve your overall texture, but quick. Now this is going to be a mechanical exfoliation, which means you're going to be using grit to really scrub your skin. And I know you're thinking, but wait, I thought physical exfoliation was bad. Cue images of St. Ives Apricot Scrub. Yes and no. The reason that there's a lot of fuss behind St. Ives Apricot Scrub is this. They, they use walnut shells as their exfoliant. And if you look at them under a microscope, they're very sharp. So you really want something that's buffered. I go in with my deep cleansing oil from DHC, a couple of pumps of this, and you want to add about a teaspoon of sugar and then make a little bit of a paste. Go in with warm water and you're going to exfoliate gently. You want to get into the corners of your nose here because that's where everything builds up. Whatever you do, don't use hot water because hot water and sugar is how you make syrup. However, this is the reaction that makes this method effective as well as safe. So the really cool thing that happens is with the application of heat and that little bit of friction are actually buffering those sugar crystals immediately upon contact. It's abrasive enough to exfoliate your skin, but not enough to cause any kind of damage.